Hi, my name is Chris Castro, and this is the Shift Messy Mint Middle interview series. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got some sinus drip going on. Hello, Shift community. As I said, my name is Chris Castro, and I work with Marketplace Ministry and community leaders across the globe who love Jesus mm -hmm. and want to make a positive impact within their sphere of influence for the Lord's glory. This many messy middle interview series was started because I kept recognizing that we all go through really difficult circumstances and people often wonder how we got through it, especially if the situation was messy. <laughs> and so this interview series is designed to provide encouragement for those going through their own messy middle situations in order to show how others have gone through it, gotten to the other side, and how Jesus shows up to help when we surrender and let him. Mm -hmm. And so today my guest is Kelia Holder. Kelia was working on a job that wasn't aligned with what she wanted to do professionally. And this messy middle is about that story. Mm -hmm. um, at that time, it was the only job she could get, and she needed to earn a living. That same year, she also joined a network marketing business owned and operated by Christians, which started shifting her mindset and the way she showed up in her life and work. She received three warnings that she was at risk of losing her job. At first, she freaked out at the possibility. But on February 22nd, 2016, she received her walking papers. As she walked away, she felt relieved and happy. Two weeks later, she followed the voice of God and registered her business called Faith in Life, not having a clue about how to launch it or run the business. But God supernaturally provided for her financially and replaced the job she lost with two part-time jobs. And so today's interview is going to be all about that. So welcome, Keely. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's dig in and talk about your messy middle. So what was the hardest part of that messy middle situation? Well, this, as this whole thing was breaking up, um, coming together, I had just recently moved into an apartment, not about well, five, maybe six months the most of a roommate. We have a, a 12 month lease. Um, I had zero savings to my name. Like literally that, that phrase living paycheck to paycheck was my life. <laughs> I was living <laughs> paycheck to paycheck. And so I could not afford to lose my job. Um, the thought of where I was going to come up with my rent, much less food and everything else was like nerve wracking. So as I said, the last warning was naturally an ultimatum. And I actually had an opportunity to save my job, so to speak, um, to come up with a plan of how I was gonna do that, how I was gonna shift things that was happening at work and be, get better results. So I had a lovely conversation with God on Sunday since nothing came to me. <laughs> and the weirdest thing is I just had that feeling that I have to trust God, trust God that he has something better in store for me. So I went to that and I didn't, when I got the uh, question, I couldn't say anything. I literally was mute as a, um, a nun, like I was muted. And so I got my walking papers. And as you said, when I walked out of that door, I was at peace, but nothing changed, had changed. My situation was still the same. Except now I had no job. <laughs> So as you look back at that, what was one significant decision you made during that messy middle time that ended up proving really beneficial to you? It was that first leap of faith. You can say that first step to say, okay, God, I trust you, whatever, like you got to got something else better than something. Like I don't see it, but I trust you and I'm going to follow suit with you. And that's what kind of why when I got that crazy idea to register a business, given my circumstances, um, I just, as crazy as it was, I, I did it anyways. And now I still have that business to today. <laughs> so. mm -hmm. 
And as you look back, what was something you may have done differently during your messy middle? To be honest, I don't have a clue. I don't know if I would have done anything differently. Um, I always say I'm one of those first persons that says, even though when I screw up and mess up, and, and it, you know, you go through things that you like wish you never did. I'm like, I, I don't regret it because it, as a result of going through that, I have become who I, I am right now. So I don't really know if it can change anything or would change anything. Did you have a Bible verse that you kind of clung to during that time? <laughs> it's, I, it's on my wall to today. Is I trust in the Lord with all my heart and lean not onto my own understanding. In all my days, I submit to him. I literally had to submit and submit because he directs my path. I kind of turned it into like my belief statement and made it personal for me. And so last question, what wisdom would you share with everybody that's listening about how your entire situation has positively impacted your life today? This is going to be a hard one for some people to swallow. Um, and at the beginning, I didn't see, I didn't see this, my journey as this journey, but my journey has been a faith walk journey. And every time I step out in faith with God, things miraculously just worked out. Things just happen and better than I could have imagined. But it's not easy. It is not easy. You have that anxiety moments, especially being an independent person like me. I am an independent nature person. I want to be in control of the situation. I want to determine, okay, I want this result. How can I get this result? And when you're having faith in God and you're trusting him, but also more importantly, obeying him, you have to give up the control. You have to say, you do your part, which is whatever he guides you to do, and leave the results up to him. But that is not easy for many people. But it gets a little bit easier. <laughs> That's the hope I will give you. <laughs> the more and more you trust and you have faith and you step out with him, it gets easier. It's not as anxiety thing. Like there's moments I just have a, a peace that surpasses all understanding. Literally, like the word said, it does not make sense. I'm thinking to myself logically in my head, like this situation is crazy. Kelia, what are you doing? Like, no one would do this in their right mind. But yeah, in my heart, there's peace in knowing that I'm following what God is guiding me to do. And I'm trusting that he's going to work things out for my good, for the good of me and for the glory of him. Mm, yeah, indeed. So that is one thing that I would definitely um, pass on is just have faith have faith you cannot go wrong with having faith <laughs> no and i absolutely agree um you and i are very much on the same wavelength where we've seen in 2020 reflection how when we follow what god says it generally works out in the end even if the middle is kind of messy so <laughs> obedience to what he says is usually for our good <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, so it is. It's best to just do it, and even if it sounds crazy. So, thank you so much for sharing your messy middle story. And I'm hopeful that everybody who was watching was blessed by that. And, Kelia, I just wish you all the best. Thanks again. You are so welcome. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. I'll go ahead and put all of your contact information on the post so that people can get a hold of you. and if they want to talk a little bit about their own messy middles or if they're interested in chatting with you about anything else. Awesome. Yeah. All righty guys, take care. <laughs>